While I still, above all else, enjoy playing my Game Boy SPs like a piano, in recent years I've taken on a few unique solutions to save my hands some pain on some other systems. And one of the most common questions I get is, how do I control so many systems at once? I'm going to go over three different solutions that I use. One with official hardware, one with a software mod, and one with a hardware mod. So let's talk about the first solution, the wireless GameCube controller known as the WaveBird. Using one WaveBird controller and multiple receivers all set to the same channel, you can plug this into multiple consoles at once and have them all receive the same inputs. Combine this with the Game Boy Player accessory and you can play any of the first three generations this way. Also, thanks to the GameCube adapter and its compatibility with the Switch, you can use this in the newest Pokemon games in Generation 8, and presumably Scarlet and Violet in Generation 9 when those release. The second solution requires having a 3DS running custom firmware. In the Luma menu, if you go down to miscellaneous options and turn on input redirection, and then run the input redirection client program on your computer to match up with your 3DS's IP address, you can use any controller connected to your computer to control the 3DS's, and it has surprisingly little latency. The only downside is that it does not work with the Generation 4 and 5 games because this functionality does not work in DS mode. However, you can play the Virtual Console games on it, meaning you can play Gens 1, 2, 6, and 7 this way. Now in order to cover Generations 4 and 5, I commissioned hardware modding extraordinaire Gonjona to do a controller mod for me on 4DS lights. I'm not going to even pretend to know how exactly this works mechanically, but basically all my DS's had new ports installed in them, linked up to every possible input I can make, with a cable that plugs into a box, where I can plug in a Super Nintendo controller, and control up to four DS lights this way. I don't believe Gonjona is currently accepting commissions, but I do know quite a few people have been working on their own solutions for this, and I think over time we'll only begin to see more controller mods like this pop up. Anyway, I hope this short little video answered some of your questions about this and that you have a good one. I'll